Hello everyone, this is Ron and today we are driving into Kuru Peak OS, a versatile point of sale system designed to streamline sales, manage inventory and enhance customer experience. Whether you are new to Kuru or just exploring its POS feature, this video will show you how to get started and make the most of the incredible tool. For those who don't know what is Kuru POS is a feature-rich point-of-sale system that integrates seamlessly with other Kuru modules like inventory, accounting, and CRM. As you know, Kuru has all this in dude. With its intuitive interface and robot functionality, Kuru POS make it easy to manage sales track inventory and provide exceptional customer service. And without wasting any time, let's get started. Just come to Google search for Uru POS, click on this first official link of Uru. And here you will get this option of start now, it's free. So let's just go and click on Cree and yes, they have a pricing. And I will explain you each and everything here. So let's go to the pricing section from now. And let's talk a little bit here. As you can see here, one app is completely free. free so Uru has a lot of application and PO is one of them. Right, so for one app, or ultimate user can use URI online, tried, and it has a standard price. And monthly is slightly expensive than yearly, and the price could vary depending on from which country you're opening the website. Right, and as you can see here, Udu has a different application. If you want her to drill on any of the application or apps, let us know, I'll make on it. Now simply, just here you have to enter your name. So once I enter my first name, your email address, now there's a company name. Now then you have to enter phone number, right? And this is basically your country's like language, company size, and just go and click on start. Now as can, you can also edit this up, right? So I don't need. Once you have filled all this information, it will give you something like this. Welcome to Uluru, right? And it will load for a few seconds and our trial hasn't started right. Now in the dashboard, you will see that there's a lot of application open here, but you can see here, we just want to use point of sale. So we'll just go and click on point of sale, right? That is POS. Now here it will ask you to choose your store. Now you can just come up here, whether it's a restaurant, it's a bar, a retail, clothes, furniture, whatever it is, right? So we can just go. Now let's say I just want to go with for retail. So I've choose here retail. Right now it will ask you to register. So just go and click on open register. I would see opening cash. So let's say it's around 10,000. As the opening node, so we'll just write here opening cash. And here you can change your currency, for example, how many, um, um, I mean, how many 500 nodes you have, right? And how many hundred nodes for it's the how, if you have points and how much it is, right? And you can just kind of leave on conform. Uh, all right, now let's say just want to increase to a lot so we can just come to the 10,000 queue. Now click on open register. Now your register has been open, right? Now you can see here's can a barcode to create automatically a load out sample data. So I'm just going to click on load sample here. In your case, you can just go and click on create manually. And once you add any of the products manually, it will look like something like this, right? Or you can just go and click on scan this, right? So you can see here, use your camera, say so it will use your barcode scanner and you can easily scan it. Now let's say I just want to search for any of the specific product here, right? And here, let's say this is off the So once I go and click on here, how much quantity they want, so let's say they want to share. Or MRT is the price will show up here, right? Now you can just go and click on payment, right? In the payment, once you, uh, you will give this option to the customer, how you know, pay for rate. So it could be a cash, it could be card or just a customer account, right? So let's say the customer is going to pay through cash. You can select here cash and just go and just go and click on validate once you have received that money. So this is the receipt, right? And just go and click on print full receipt here, right? And you can just save this receipt in your system, or you can send this receipt to the given email address. I simply go and click on plus icon once you have gone the another customer, right? So let's say the next customer wants 
the product is basically, let's say you're not able to find now, I just want to go with the chair. So I will search for the chair. Now they just go one over the office chair. Now this customer have purchased around five quantity. Automatically one side press and quantity will show here. Now, by the way, for some cases, if you want to change your price, how you can change your price, just going to one price and you can just change your price here, right? So this is how it's going to be. And just going click on payment. Oh, let's say you're not adding the product from here. You can simply, you can scan the problem. Let's say you have a retail store or large retail store. So simply just kind of click on scan this barcode and it will show up here. Now this customer want to pay through card. So just going to select on card here. You will give it the, you will give the customer, uh, you know, card swipe or something like that. Now once I have received the money, just going to leave on validate. Right now, just going to leave one new order from here or simply to this order for the next customer. Right now, even notice on the right side, you find this option. For example, basically switch to dark mode. Install application. So yes, Guru Peers has application. You can install it. Now this is a cash in, cash out. Let's say this is the end of the day and you want to cash out your money. So simply just go and click on cash out. Now let's say, nah, you know, cash out a thousand. Let's say to buy miscellaneous products, right? For this store. And just go and click on confirm. You can just go and click on detail sender. You can see here, click on confirm here and go to the company and configuration for that to make sure. Now here you can see this is a setting, by the way, that will just get back to here later. So I can explain you how you can change your logo and everything, right? So let's get back here. I hope you understood. And let's say this is a customer. Now, if you just go and click on customer, you will find all the customer who have purchased for today. And even you can get to the old records. Right, so in this way, you will able to find how much they have purchased. And if I just and click on all orders, so it will show me all the orders here, right? And uh, that is how it is going to happen, right? And somehow, if you just go back, you can simply click on continue selling, right? Because we have a lot of applications, so you might catch uh, overwhelming or for some cases, you cannot able to find it. So we are back into the periods. Now, for some reason, our customer came back and they want to refund. So just go and click on refund here and I will show you for which customer you want to refund. Now let's say this was customer three who I purchased, you know, five shares, right? And the price was this. Now let's say I want to refund for two, right? So to refund two and just go and click on refund. So in this way, you can see it will show minus and click on payment. So once you have done the payment, automatically it will show up here, right? And let's say this is how you went just to the refund and automatically it will show the minus, right? And you can just simply go back here, right? And if you want to do any kind of changes, you can always do this. We can even write a note that what was the case by the customer data refund. So we have a lot of options. Now, let's say you want to check the price list. So this is a default price list. You can always add a new price list here. This is customer notes. You can just write it here right now. And this is regarding the tax. So obviously, we will assure you how you can change your tax and everything here. So, but you have this information here. For some cases, if you want to cancel the order, you can always go and click on cancel and click on OK. And everything will be go back to the default section here and you can just place it, you customer. Pretty much easy, very simple, very easy to use it, right? And let's say you want to add a new product, simply just go and click on Shear, right? So we just need to go to the backend, right? And this is the backend of BSU. On the back end, you can see this is a dashboard. So if I just go and click on dashboard, it will show me uh, for which store this is. You can add more than one store, right? So let's say you're running to three store. And if you ever want to check the back end, in back end, everything will be shown up here. And this is the orders. So I'm going to check the orders for this specific date. I can always check here. I can get the employees and which employee did that transaction. I can, uh, I can also find it. And it has obviously number, the unique code and everything, the session and everything, right? So that is pretty much useful thing here. Not this is a session. So which customer came and what was the starting balance? What was the closing balance? You will find every small detail here. And this is a payment section. So how many customer data cash payment? How many customer data card? And what kind of payment gate would they have used? Will show up here. And what was the exact amount? And let's say I want to check this up so I can even check which order it was regarding in the cash. Right now, this is really cool. Now let's go to the preparation display here. So near a third screen or interface to manage this order. So you can always do this, right? We have this option. I mean, where do you have this option? I'm going to check the customers. The customer data is added here, right? And you can see here, that's pretty much easy in the order civil, in the products civil. Let's say 
yeah, this is a product section. So we can just add a product here. And let's say if I just go to the product, if I want to remove a specific product, I can just point click on here, right? And I can add it here, whether I can change your description and everything, right? And I can just do it very easily. For some reason, I can also add a document and everything here. That is pretty much easy thing to do. Now here, as you can see this option of settings. So if I just go and click on settings, I can duplicate this product. I can replenish. It means if I, if it has a X number of quantities and if it is out of stunt, then you can just one beyond replenish, right? And that is pretty easy thing to do. You can just go and uh, decide that you can upload it up. Let's say this may close up here. And let's say you have a new product. So just go and click on new and you can add a completely a new product to you. So that is pretty easy thing to do. Uh, let's say I want to change the storage box here. I can change the name. And I can change the quantity, the price, and everything. Right? So if you just create the product, now let's say that you have selling clothes. Now Cluth has a variation. Let's say you selling shoes and everything. It has a variation. So you can create a variation for a specific product. Same goes here. You can check it out. And even it has activity center, which doesn't get deleted. Second so schedule activity, you can check out that you can add a to-do list. You can add a meeting regarding this specific product or let's say for, for X, Y, Z reason, right? So you can just get it here. Now this is a reporting tool. Reporting tool is pay powerful because it will show you how much orders you have received in a specific day and it helps you regarding taxation and everything here. It will just give you sales data. You have to just enter the date and you can just print out the entry information here. And this is a session reports. So you will be able to find your session reports. So let's send one to find for Filex and apply on print. Now automatically it will show up here, right? And this is preparation time too. Now in the configuration, this is settings. So let's just go to the setting. Now I want to check the general setting. You can change your language and very basic information here. Let's go to the PS. This is the PS setting. And if you're using Uru Inventory or eGuru Invoicing, so it has a different application, but this video is regarding tutorial of PS. Right? So let's say I'm running only one store that is a Filex Express. I can just go and click on new store as I gave you some information while I was explaining the dashboard section, right? I hope you remember. Now here you can see here a session is currently open for this period status basically file. I can close it from here. Right now point of sales I can also if it is allow take out delivery members I can add it here. And this is a payment section. So let's say there's a new payment gateway available in the market you can add it from here. If I just put the payment gateways you can see here I have three payment gateways. The first one is a cash, customer account and card right. I can change it up right and I can rename it. However, I want right now, this is a cash roundings. You can add cash rounding and cash rounding is the important because very small, small numbers makes a huge of any for the company, right? I hope to show you what I'm trying to say here. This is a peers interface. So let's say there's a lot of employees and Malays, and you know, a selected employees can log in or allow to log in. So click on a login with employees here, right? Now, if you want a, want a large crowbar, you can also do this. And this is some of the basic information. You can change it here. This is for the taxation. So what's the GST on your product? You can change it. And let's say if I just go and click on here, tax, right? Uh, I have to change it up, right? And you can see here, there's already different kinds of taxes are available. So you can choose for it. Average over taxes is applicable or liable in your products, right? Now you can always change everything. What's your price control, right? If you want to show the discount on your uh, billing section or everything or not. Right, so you get all this, uh, you know, settings here. If I just put the payment method, you can see it directly. You will be able to find the payment method of what's regarding the deal of these or in, uh, of the coins, of the cent and everything, right? So you can change everything. And if you just, you need to invest some of the time here. And once you buy the POS, obviously Odoo is going to help to set up and, you know, or the, obviously the training of POS into your store, right? How it's going to integrate and how you're going to use it. So this is really a cool feature. By the way, you can add, check all the activities. This is a notification bar. Right now, this is your profile like here and you can also use the dark mode here or light mode. So these are the cool features. So to recap, would you be a simplify sale management by helping your process orders track inventory and analyze performance? But this step, you will save your time, improve accuracy, and achieve better result. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching this video.